Hi, this is Wes Fryer in Oklahoma City, and I'd like to share just a brief video clip with you that is from an interview that Oklahoma Governor Mary Fallon gave with News OK um, this past week on May the 4th, 2000. And 17. And so if you're wondering, this is being used under fair use provisions of U.S. copyright law as I offer a critique of what the governor said. Um, what the governor says in this video clip is that if we don't test students on Oklahoma history, they won't care about it. And therefore she has vetoed a bill which was going to eliminate the required uh, history test that Oklahoma students have to take in high school. And unfortunately, this just reflects a fundamental misunderstanding about what um, we can do in education to promote excellence and quality. You know, we don't get kids to care about stuff simply by giving them a test about it. And, and we've tried to do that, unfortunately, in our, in our country for too long, and we're continuing to do that in the state of Oklahoma. Take a look at this video clip. Right, one, one uh, last thing, one last question here um, uh, that I wanted to get you on the record on. Uh, yesterday you vetoed a, uh, a bill, Senate Bill 2, that would have uh, eliminated the history assessment. Right. Uh, and, uh, you know, the, the author bill said, you know, this, this will save $2 million or so. Um, and uh, you say we still need the history test. Uh, Absolutely. But, but Oklahoma has, has been kind of moving away from end of instruction tests. Uh, and, but why, why keep the very last one, this history test? Well, well, my purpose of vetoing that bill is I think it's important our kids know the history of our nation. Mm -hmm. I mean, they need to know why we have a democracy, why we have freedom, why we have a constitution, the battles, the wars, even the current wars that we're in, even the co current conflicts that we're in. How do we get to be a state? We were Indian Territory, you know, we became a state of Oklahoma in 1907. How did all that happen, whether it's Oklahoma history, American history? I just think it's important to know history. Now, what they're wanting to do is take away testing. Well, we know that in the state of Oklahoma, 62% of our students pass our history test. That's not particularly good. That means there's a huge amount of kids that can't pass it. So if you take away the incentive to know the material because you're not going to get a test on it anyway, mm -hmm. what do you think will happen? Students won't care. They'll show up, they'll check the box, say, okay, I sit in that class. I don't know anything, but I sit in the class. And I think it does a disservice to our state. So there you have it. Um, I think a video clip that shows a fundamental misunderstanding of how we improve and address educational quality in the state of Oklahoma. It's definitely not through testing. You know, there is not a silver bullet to improve education here in Oklahoma or anywhere else. But if you want to get close to it, I think you have to look at the quality of teachers, right? High quality teachers, passionate teachers that are educated, that know their material, that understand how to engage students and how to interest students in their topic and, and in their studies and to love learning, right? This is what good teachers do. We help students to love learning and to love education. And there's a lot of things it takes. And guess what? It takes funding and money to do that. And so we are in a death spiral with public education funding in Oklahoma. We are 50th in the nation now in teacher salaries. It is crazy how terrible things are. We have got to find a way to end the death spiral and not just adequately fund public education, but to fund it robustly because the future of our state relies upon education and our, our workforce, our electorate, and we are simply not doing the job. We have got to send this message to our Oklahoma governor, to our legislators. They have got to fund not only education, but all of our state services so that we can be an excellent state, so that we can be the state and have the schools and the learning opportunities that our kids deserve and that, frankly, we have to have if we're going to thrive as a state moving forward in the 21st century.